Ever wonder how to give your villagers a fresh new look? In this video, we'll dive into what Stardew Valley portrait mods are, showcasing the incredible variety of art styles available, whether you're into high definition designs, love a bit of anime flair, or prefer an enhanced take on the original style, there's a portrait mod out there for you. We'll even explore popular mods like the beloved DC Burger Pack and guide you step by step on how to install them seamlessly. Stick around to transform your game and make Stardew Valley even more personal. Before we get started, you'll need Stardew Valley installed on your computer. I've installed it through Steam. An account on Nexus, the primary source of all mods you'll want. Nexus is packed with tons of options, all easy to browse and download. Don't feel pressured to purchase the subscription for Nexus. A free account is all you need. Smappy, a modding API that is essential for installing Stardew Valley mods. If you don't have Smappy installed yet, don't worry. I've got a detailed video that shows you exactly how to install it step by step. It's the perfect place to start if you're new to modding Stardew Valley and want to deep dive in with confidence. Once you have navigated to the Stardew Valley Nexus page, we're going to go to the top, click on Mods, Mod Categories, and then from here, we're going to scroll down until we see Portraits. When you go to this category, I highly recommend sorting it by endorsements in descending order. This is going to give you the most loved portrait mods at the very top. One thing you want to keep in mind as you're gazing through all the different mods is unfortunately not all of the mods have been updated with the current version of Stardew Valley. You'll have to sometimes download and install the mod before you can know it works. But another thing you can do that will potentially save you time is find a mod and go into that mods page and then go to the post of that page and read the first couple of recent posts made and see if they're talking about the mod not working with the current version of Stardew Valley. But thankfully, a lot of mods are still up to date with the current game and new portrait mods are being made every single day. When you're browsing Nexus, you'll want to keep in mind there are three primary ways for downloading portrait mods. One is through the framework called Content Patcher. Content Patcher is a Stardew Valley modding tool that lets you load and apply visual and gameplay changes, such as retextures and map edits, without altering the game's original files. It's a mod that I heavily recommend downloading as it's used by a vast majority of mods you may want to try. A good example of a content patcher portrait mod is Seasonal Outfit's slightly cuter aesthetic. This mod overhauls all the character sprites and portraits for a slightly cuter aesthetic, while keeping much of the same style of the original game's portraits. So to install Seasonal Outfits, we're first going to go to the mods page and go down to requirements. And we'll see here the required mods for this mod are Content Patcher and Smappy. Smappy is required by almost every mod on Nexus, and Content Patcher is what is required for this particular portrait mod. So the very first thing we're going to do is go to Files. You'll usually see some sort of advertisement for the premium version of Nexus, which is a subscription fee. You do not need that. We can instead use the free version of the downloads. The file sizes for Stardew Valley mods are usually pretty small and not something you have to worry about. So we're going to go to manual download. Obviously, make sure you are also downloading any required mods. And then we're going to download seasonal outfits. We're going to go ahead and use the free version, the slow download. And with that file downloaded, we're also going to make sure we're downloading content patcher if you have not already. And again, we'll do a manual download and remember to endorse your favorite mod authors and then we're going to do a slow download again once you have everything downloaded you'll want to navigate to wherever you downloaded to i used the downloads folder and we're also going to want to open our stardew valley mods folder the easiest way to navigate that is to go to steam go to your library right click on stardew valley go to properties installed files and browse once you're in your Stardew Valley folder, go to Mods, which you'll see as long as you've downloaded Smappy. We'll see here that I have some mods installed already. I keep all my mods in categorized parent folders, and I have some disabled folders, which you can tell because there is a period in front of the folder name. Anything with a period will be skipped by Smappy when it loads the game. What we're gonna go ahead and do is in the Downloads folder, I'm going to one at a time, extract the zip file, and then in that new folder that is created from the extraction, we're going to drag over the contents of that folder into our mods folder. And that is literally all you need to do technically to install a mod. So this is how we installed Content Patcher. And then we're gonna do the same thing for Seasonal Cute Portraits. We're going to right click, extract, let that finish extracting. 
And in the folder it made from the extracted zip file, we're going to drag over the contents of that to our mod folder. And that is really all you need to do to install mods. Now I actually already have Content Patcher installed, but we're gonna go ahead and drag that over. And feel free to go ahead and organize the mods into parent folders if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and drag over my seasonal cute portraits over to a parent folder just for better organization. And then let's go ahead and load up the game. With the game loaded, now we're gonna go ahead and try to find an NPC. And we'll see here that the sprite has updated to the new slightly cuter aesthetic sprite. And if we talk to Pierre, we'll get the slightly cuter aesthetic portrait. Let's go ahead and talk to someone else. And again, here is the slightly cuter aesthetic portrait for Abigail. And these are all seasonal, so they'll each have their own seasonal outfits. And if we compare that to the mod page, we'll see that the biggest change from here is how the outfit lays on her neck and the hair swoop that she has. So this is vanilla, and then this is what we're seeing in the game. But this is how her various outfits would look throughout the seasons and throughout different festivals. And then these are an image of all the different sprites she'll have throughout the year as well. And if you ever wanted to change up the content patcher mod, all you'd have to do is go to where you have the mod downloaded. And then let's say I want to replace seasonal cute characters with a different content patcher mod. You can either just delete this folder and it would uninstall this, and then you could install the other one in its place. Or we can put a period in front of this folder name and it'll disable this content patcher portrait mod and you can put another one in this same folder if you would like. And it would load that one, but not this one, because again, putting a period in front of the folder name would disable it. We have more ways to install portrait mods to go, but if you're finding this guide helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Stardew Valley tips, mods, and tutorials. The second way to mod portraits is through another framework called Portraiture. Portraiture is a Stardew Valley mod that allows you to customize characters' portraits with higher resolution portraits and easily switch between different portrait mods in the game quickly and easily. This is actually the framework we'll use for installing Stardew Valley's most famous portrait mod, DC Burger's High Res Portrait Mod. This mod was originally created with Content Patcher in mind, however, the Content Patcher of this mod broke with the 1.6 update of Stardew Valley. So now you'll need to use the Portraiture version of this mod to get it working. So to get started with installing Portraiture, you're first going to want to download Portraiture, as well as any Portraiture mods you're interested in, keeping in mind that you can easily switch between Portraiture mods in the game, so feel free to download any that you're wanting to try out. I'm going to be downloading DC Burger's High Res Portrait Mod, which is the most popular portrait mod for Stardew Valley, as well as Luna Cat's DC Burger Style Portrait Mod for Stardew Valley Expanded. So first we're gonna to go to the Portraiture page. We're going to go to Files. We're going to Manual Download. And we're going to use the free slow download. And we're also going to go ahead and download DC Burger High Res Portrait. Now for DC Burger, it's not super clear which one is the portraiture version, but what you're after is this second entry here that says DC Burger's High Res Portraits. And we're going to Manual Download. And we'll see here that the required mod is portraiture. That's how you know you clicked on the right file to download. Now, one thing you'll notice here is one of the required mods for DC Burger is not only portraiture, but a mod called PYTK. So we're also going to be downloading that. So let's go ahead and download DC Burger first, and then we're gonna use slow download. And then let's go to PYTK, which is a, another framework tool. And we're going to go to files. We're going to download PYTK Lite, manual download, and again, the slow download. And then we're also going to be downloading Luna Cat's DC Burger style portrait for Stardew Valley Expanded. Go to files. Again, make sure you're downloading the portraiture mod version, which this one is clearly marked, and then manual download. Again, make sure you have all of the required mods, and then we're going to download. With all our mods downloaded, now we can go ahead and start the install process. You're going to want to go to where you downloaded the mods to. Mine is, again, in the downloads folder, and we're going to one by one extract these files, just like we did before. So right click, extract all, extract and do that with every single one. With the folders extracted, we can go ahead and start the install process. Let's start with the portraiture mod first. So we're going to go into the extracted folder. 
and then drag over the portraiture folder to our mods folder. And again, if you need help navigating to the mods folder, follow what we did earlier with Content Patcher. And then we're also going to go ahead and install into our mods folder PYTK Lite. Portraiture mods are installed a little bit differently than standard mods. Most mods you will drag straight into the mods folder. However, portraiture mods you want to install directly into portraiture itself. So if we open the portraiture folder, you'll see a subfolder called portraits. This is where we're going to install all our portraiture mods into. So for DC Burger, if we open up the mod folder, we'll see the portraits folder here, and we're going to just drag that over and that will install DC Burger. Let's go ahead and do the same exact thing with Luna Cats. So open the extracted folder and we'll see here Luna Cat did not include the portraits parent folder. So instead we're going to go into portraits and drag over Luna Cat's portrait folder. And that is all you need to do to install the portraiture mods. Now we can go into the game. Let's go ahead and talk to an NPC. You'll see here that Pierre is rocking his original portrait. So you may be wondering how to turn on the portraiture portraits. With the dialog open, do not close out of this. Go ahead and press P. And this changes it to the DC Burger portrait. And this is how you'll navigate around all the different portraiture mods that you have. So if you have multiple installed, you would just keep pressing P until you get the portraiture mod that you would like to use. And then let's go ahead and talk to Abigail as well. And here is Abigail's DC Burger portrait. I think you can tell why this is one of the most famous portraiture mods for Stardew Valley. It really does look amazing. Let's go ahead and talk to a Stardew Valley NPC now. And we can see here that the expanded default portrait is showing, but if we want to navigate to Luna Cats, again, we're just going to press P on the keyboard. And here is the Luna Cats DC Burger style portrait mod. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and talk to Victor. And again, another beautiful portrait. Portraiture will remember your last selected portrait mod that you chose. So the next time I open the game, it'll remember Luna Cats portrait mods as well as DC Burgers. And that's kind of all you need to do to install a portraiture mod. This goes a long way into making the game look amazing. Feel free to go ahead and move the portraiture mod to a parent folder if you would like. And that's all it takes to install a portraiture mod. We have one more way to mod portraits to cover, but first, what portrait mods are you planning to use? Or do you have a favorite mod that you consider a must have for your game? Drop your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. I'm always looking for new mods to try out and share with everyone. The final way to mod Stardew Valley portraits is by overwriting the game's original files, which involves replacing the default portraits with custom ones in the game's directory. However, this method is not recommended as it can lead to complications during updates where your custom files may be overwritten and troubleshooting becomes more difficult. If you do want to use a mod that overwrites the game's files, then I recommend watching my How to Install Stardew Valley Mods video for details on how to back up your game saves before continuing. An example of a mod that overwrites the game save files that is popular on Nexus is Variant Anime Portraits. So to install Variant Anime Portraits, we're going to want to go to the mod page, go to Files, Manual Download, Slow Download. Once the file is downloaded, we're going to want to extract it. So right click, Extract All, Extract. And then in our Stardew Valley install folder, so not the mods folder, we're going to go into content, portraits, and then we'll see this is the XNB files for all the Stardew Valley portraits. I heavily recommend that you back up this folder. So what you can do is go to the portraits folder, right click, compress to zip file, and then move this file someplace safe, and then go back into the portraits folder, go into the extracted mod folder, and you will see that this mod author has given us several options for each marriage candidate. So if I wanted to replace Sebastian's portrait, I would pick one of these portraits. And then what I would do is move over Sebastian's portrait into the portraits folder of Stardew Valley and replace the file. And that is how you would install via the overrate method. So now if we go into the game and in the game, if we talk to Sebastian, we'll see the new variant anime portrait mod. If I wanted to replace more portraits, I would have to one by one overwrite each of these X and B files. Now, if you ever want to revert back to the game's original portraits, but you lost your zip file backup, what you can do is go to your library, right click on Stardew Valley, go to properties, installed files, 
verify integrity of game files. What verify integrity of game files does, it goes through the entire install folder and sees if anything is not as originally installed by Steam. And it's a great way to restore some files without having to completely reinstall Stardew Valley. And that's all there is to it. Your villagers are now rocking some awesome new portraits. Whether you chose the high def upgrade, an anime style, or something totally unique, it's a great way to make your Stardew Valley experience even more personal and fun. Feel free to join our community by subscribing and joining our Discord server. Thanks for watching and happy modding everyone!